tell drugs this is travis here so i've been getting a lot of um, requests for making frames y'all a lot of people want to know how to make frames i know some uh people that have videos on frames um but the frame i'm going to do um it's not going to have no legs on it um you're going to be able to use um clamps to put it on like a desk or a table um, I got a class coming up that I'm about to teach uh, probably like six or no, it's like seven or eight high school kids, man. They're going to come to my office, man. I'm going to do a video on that, man. So y'all going to see that go down as well. So we finna get ready to run into the hardware store, the hardware store and uh, grab some two by fours and some other supplies that we're going to need to get these frames done so i have to make a frame for each one of the kids so i think i gotta make around by eight frames so hey let's go ahead and get in here let's uh go ahead and get some of this lumber and some some more supplies man let go so i'm in the store now and uh i forgot my tape measure you all so i'm about to get ready to borrow one of theirs off the aisle all right so all i gotta do is just grab one of these and use the tape measure right <laughs> let's get to the uh by four section man. all right so i'm outside i found the lumber section all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do because i'm doing 30 inches so i'm gonna probably do 30 by 30 frames so um i think i'm gonna do this eight foot two by fours so these are two by fours for those who don't know why it's two by four it's two this way two inches and four inches that way that's why it's called a two by four and then it's eight foot long all right so let me get my handy dandy tape measure that i borrowed from the store let me set this up all right so pretty much what i'm doing is uh i'm measuring let me see how many i can get out of this so I'm just gonna go over like a half just because I have to cut it. So I'm gonna go 30 and a half. So that's one. That's two. All right, so I can get three pieces, three 30, uh, 30 inches, 30 inch pieces out of this. So, um, if I'm doing eight frames, I think I'm gonna need around like 11, 11 boards. So let's grab these 11 boards and then we're gonna get in and we're gonna find the, uh, I think it's called U brackets or something like that. When I get in there, I'll figure that out. So we're gonna need some screws. Um, yeah, uh, I gotta look back at my list, but let's grab these two by fours and then let's get out of here and get back inside the store. I got to tell you the prices that I got the 11 on the park, 11 of them things. They're uh, $4.25 right now. So it's not, not bad. So if you're only building one frame, um, you probably need, uh, oh, I forgot. I got to do, I got to do 33 times, but then I need to do, I'm going to grab one more. I think I need to do because the bottom piece is supposed to be a little bit longer so you can put your clamps on but um but I mean I had a lot of room so th this should be fine I had a lot of room so yeah this should be fine so let's uh jump in here and, and, and grab the other supplies that we're gonna need Alright, so I'm just gonna grab some multi-purpose construction screws. I'm gonna grab a one inch. That's for the uh gonna be for those U brackets. And then I'm gonna grab a three a three inch uh grab a three inch for two USA. I'm gonna grab a three inch. Let's go grab these U brackets. Alright, so here's some clamps that you can use. It depends on how thick your your table is. So you got to remember if your table is thick your board stick have to go under so you have to find something that's uh thicker so i might have to order or buy like these big old 30 dollar things so all right i'm about to grab these uh 
these corner uh, braces right here. I'm gonna grab you some corner braces. I got the two and a half inches. So you can get whatever whatever you feel, you know, you want. And I actually don't need these one inch screws because these already came with screws. So we're just gonna stick with the screws that came with it and put these back and save some money. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of these screw eyes for these uh, kids putting it on their frames. But I don't usually put them on mine, but I think it'll be easier for them the way I wanna do it. So let's grab some of these here. Screw eyes. All right, so I got all the uh, material together I have. I have um, my 30 inch boards here. And then I just use the rest of the, uh, the board for the bottom part you know it's just a little bit longer so i want to say this is probably i didn't even measure this but like i said from your eight foot from your eight foot uh um, um two by four you should have this much left over when you cut two two 30 foot pieces i mean two 30 inch pieces so then this would be the bottom part that will stay down here and then you will have your your two sides here and then you have your top all right so let's go ahead and start putting on i'm gonna probably put this on last the bottom piece let's just start putting on um, the top piece so i want to do um the top piece and put this on top like so and then i'll just spray, pretty much just line it up and then you would get your, your corner brackets or your corner braces. You'll just simply just put it here. And with the screws, so I got it right there in the center of it. I don't have it on the right or the left. I have it right in the center. And then you just wanna just, just put that down. We'll drill those uh, screws in. I do the bottom first, just so they can stay in place. All right, and then I'll do the sides. So I'll do the bottom first. You just pretty much got to hold that. Make sure your um, your piece of two by four is leveled with the side of the bottom. All right, and once I once I do these two here, um, I'll do the other side. Make sure you don't have to grab the wrong piece. Make sure you keep that long piece to the side because um, I had did a, I had a mistake and I did that on one of my frames, and then I had pretty much had to take it loose. All right, so we do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's flush with that. I think it'll stay flush and stay up if you you have something that like a level table or something. I'll put the bottom on. All right, and then we'll do the top, the top two the same way. I'll do the bottom first. right-handed so I'm just gonna start it and change it with my left all right got that in all right it's kind of hard doing it this way I could have turned the whole thing around and did it from that side but it's okay all right, get that in there. Now, the reason why I bought these three inch screws, just as you can see, it's still kind of wiggly. So I wanna grab these uh, three inch screws and then you wanna turn it. Sorry. <laughs> you wanna put a screw here and a screw here, but you gotta make sure it's going in here. All right. So I'll show you after I do it. So you just make sure, make sure these are straight, all right? 
So I'm gonna start it and then I'll make sure they're straight. All right, so I just started it. So you wanna make sure you pull this back just because right now it's kind of tilted that way, just so it can be straight. Get that all the way in. Pretty much, let's try to get, let me get you a little closer so you can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, this is what I'm doing. So you got this thing here right now. Like I said, it's a little wobbly. So you wanna make sure it's pushed, pulled all the way back so it can be flushed with this here so you won't have it up like so. You wanna push back, all right? So you can start, start it by getting a screw in there and then you'll pull it back and then you'll drill on it. Like that. Same thing, you grab another one. All right, so now, so now it's not even wobbling no more. It's nice and uh, steady. All right, so now it's time to put the barbecue piece on. Same thing, you'll lay this flat down here. And then now we have, the reason why we do this so we can put clamps on these two ends when you put it on the table. I'll show you that in a bit after I get this on. And um, just so it won't be clamped here. Um, I mean, you can actually clamp here, but it'd be on the other side, you know, from where you're not tufting. You get that, do the same thing. You get your brackets, you put them here, and you get your other one, and you put the other one here, and you pretty much drill those screws in. So now you can either put um, carpet strips on here, uh, which I do not like carpet strips. Um, so I'm gonna use staples, cause I'm just, I just like to use staples when I put my, uh, my burlap or primary cloth on. So now let's get into the clip. So after you put on your, so you'll put on your cloth first, you get your cloth on first, and then, um, or you can put it on second after you put your clips on. You can do it whatever, you, whichever way you feel comfortable with, but let's get these clips on here. All right, so here's these clamps here. These are actually just some good old clamps, man. Uh, these was $30 for a, four pack so you could get two frames if you need so now just set that on up and the way these work because the other ones i didn't know how big this table was so now you need this much to clamp so these work perfect these go this wide so so basically all you got to do is just uh let me move you up some all right all right what's cool about these clamps here is they go wide so so now all I gotta do is get it to where I need it, give it a couple pumps, all right, and do the other side like that. <clears throat> so you gotta find clamps, that's clamps that's gonna be big enough to go, or wide enough to go on this. And clamp that on there, and let's show you how sturdy this thing is. Look at this, back you up some. Look at this. Look, I'm moving the whole table. This thing is on here. This thing is on here. It's on here that tight. All right, people. So that was it, man. Hopefully you learned something today on how to build a frame for your table. Um, those that have a flat table, maybe you can go buy a little cheap flat table. Um, maybe grab a little flat table off of a Facebook market or something, something real cheap, something that somebody getting rid of. But this is uh, the frame here. So. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and click that bell. See y'all next time. Peace.